All right, that was beautiful. Anyway, coming up on the show, before I even bring my next guest, today's show is looking amazing, isn't it, yeah? We're having a good time, are we now, yeah? Come on, make some noise, everybody. Woo! Very good. All right, see the comment on the show. It's all about music today, but we got another special joining us. But I won't give that away, only if you sit back to listen to who she is. But take it away. We'll be right back. Thank you. Hello, my name is Yurgita, and I'm super happy and excited to be able to greet you all from this most precious corner in my house. Uh, I'm from Lithuania, but it's been 17 years now that I live in Ireland. Uh, I'm a little bit of a singer, a little bit of an actress, a little bit of a theatre director, and I am a full-time vocal coach. So yes, at the moment I'm running my own DC singing studio, and to be completely honest, I couldn't be happier in my life because I have that precious possibility to help young people, young artists to develop their most unique, most sensitive instrument, uh, the voice. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Please don't forget to continue to have a run, everyone, the show! Woo! Thank you! Good to see you! Thank you so much for coming. I like the way she portrayed that. My little, small, beautiful studio, the corners, you know. Anyway, good to see you. And uh, thank you so much. You live in Ireland for 25 years, am I right? 17. Oh, okay. All right. I'm just trying to remind myself back. Good to see you. 17 years. It's amazing. So tell us about your journey. Well, my journey, when I came to Ireland, to be completely honest, I obviously, I have my education, my master's degree in vo vocal performance and uh, acting and vocal coaching. But the funny thing is, when I came to Ireland, I completed the revenue management course. I successfully started managing the conference center, the, later on the reservations department. But probably everybody experienced something during the lockdown, mm -hmm. you know? And this was the time for me where, where it clicked into my mind. Do you really want to stay in the office nine to five? with all your experience, all, all, you know, the education that you have without uh, kind of not sharing it with the people. And that's when I decided to quit the job. Hmm. Then uh, was when I decided to open my own singing studio. And that's where I am at the moment. Hmm. But uh, nevertheless, I was never kind of teaching uh, singing before, right? Hmm. Uh, uh, our association in Ireland has a theater company, so I've been all I've always been a big part of it, acting, training people. Then I started directing performances, and we had a good few successful ones. So yeah, that's in where between. I am at the moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah oh, amazing. Is... And for you, living in a country that is not originally from, like myself and you, uh, what is like for your experience? You know, when you first come to Ireland. That was interesting because, to be completely honest, before we came to Ireland, we've been living in Spain for four years. Mm. So all the people that I've mentioned, like we lived in Spain before, everyone was like, are you crazy? Why are you coming? It's raining here all the time. <laughs> but yeah, look, what I do like, I'm from Lithuania. It's mm. raining there a lot as well. Mm. But uh, we have winter. And we have proper summer. So mm -hmm. to be completely honest, if we would have in summer somewhere around 25 degrees, mm. I would be more than happy to live here forever. <laughs> well, well, no plans to move. Climate change, so we don't know if we'll have it. Yeah. But back to yourself, as an actress, you do a lot of stage acting. Tell us about it when you do your theater work. Well, to be completely honest, now I'm focused on, as I said, mm -hmm. singing, teaching, and coaching. Uh, I wouldn't be acting at the moment so much, but I would be training my, how to say, what is the word for? Your, your students? My, 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 like my team. Just, oh, my team. team. Okay, yes, yeah, okay. Let's yeah, because you're kind of working a team in theater work, yes? Exactly. So what would be exactly. this kind of role you guys would play? What would be that entertainment for you guys? Because you have a lot of... Uh, things in common. When I look at those photos and look at the joy with the team, they remind you of something. They remind you of stage acting. What is like for you? It's it's everything. To be completely honest, and those who've been on the stage, who who've done acting, they probably know because it just gets you gets you in and mm -hmm. it wouldn't let you go. 
And the interesting thing, and it's probably part of excitement uh, that uh, quite a few people who are working with us, they are not professional actors. Hmm. And uh, well, when we were staging the Aladdin, the guy, he was a good singer. We saw him on the stage. I don't even remember what concert. I, I spoke to my friend, oh, look, she, he looks good. He could be a good Aladdin, hmm. you know? And we asked him to come and he accepted that challenge. He was a really proper looking Aladdin guy, hmm. right? But who never did any acting. And amazing thing happened when you see, you know, after where do I go? Which way do I look? Yeah, you know, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. from here. When he goes, da da dum, dum, <laughs> dum, you know, and starts doing so that transformation mm. when you see the people uh, becoming confident in what they can do, mm. this is amazing. Yeah. Come on, guys. I think we have the photo for you guys, you know, when you are doing your stage plays and all those things, and we're gonna showcase that. But in the meantime, we can talk about um when you entertain people like one one of them like this. This one, this is beautiful. So okay. tell us, what's happening right there? Oh, this is the California Hotel. Mm -hmm. The guy comes into his room and one of the ladies, by the way, this is that one to my right, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which way? This one, this one, this one? She got, she got drunk, okay. right? And mm -hmm. she confuses the rooms mm -hmm. and she ends up, uh, ends up in his bed. Mm -hmm. Okay. And obviously, as always. Okay, okay. We don't want to go into another one. We change it. There's another one. Change the other one. back. Yes. Uh, oh, you, yes. Okay, tell us about this one. Uh, this was from the rehearsal of the orchestra. Okay. Yeah, so that was some Spanish piece. I wouldn't be I wouldn't be sure which one with us. Is that the Zio Pifon Bessalamia? I don't remember. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was good. That was good. Is that the Zio Pifon Bessalamia? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah,
take it with us. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. Come so on, show some love, everybody. All right, stay with us. Stay tuned for more of the show. We've got my next guest talking about singing, songwriter, amazing, wonderful lady. But I want to take that a look. Take it with me. Right back. Come on, guys.